Thank you for showing interest in my course on domain-driven design and microservices for architects. Over the last few years, microservices architecture has gained a lot of popularity. Companies like Netflix, Amazon, Uber, Capital One have successfully built large microservices applications and have proven the business value of microservices architecture beyond doubt. Many organizations today are looking to adopt microservices. These organizations are investing heavily in technologies, tools, skills, and are changing their software development and delivery processes as well. But a large number of these organizations are failing to achieve the full benefit of microservices. One of the common reasons for failure of microservices projects is that organizations tend to focus mostly on technology and ignore the core of microservices, which is the domain. That is, these organizations are ignoring the business aspects. Microservices is not just about technologies, it is about business. A technology expert, typically in the role of architect, leads an organization's microservices initiative. This architect is responsible for many critical tasks that decides the fate of the microservices initiative. Some of the common tasks that the architect has to carry out is to build a business case for microservices, educate the business and IT leaders, and mentor the service teams, apply domain-driven design to demarcate the boundaries of microservices, design services by applying the domain-driven design patterns, build proof of concepts to show how things work. This course is for architects and developers working on microservices applications. Let's go over the course outline. The course is divided into two parts. In part one, the focus is on the business. As a student, you will learn techniques for understanding the business. Then you will learn how to apply domain-driven design techniques to identify the services in a microservice application. You will learn techniques for discovering bounded context using practical examples. You will learn how to develop domain models using UML. Focus of part two is on the implementation of microservices. You will learn how to apply domain-driven design tactical patterns for the realization of microservices, event-driven architecture, messaging and streaming patterns, data management and distributed transactions management, and use of APIs and GraphQL in your microservices. You will see these patterns in action. All of the code and UML diagram are available on GitHub. Course consists of over 12 hours of video, Java code, and UML models. I would like to make sure that you're getting the most value out of this course. So you have 30 days full refund guarantee. That is, if you don't like the course, just get full refund. My name is Rajiv Sakuja. I'm a passionate technologist who love to teach and learn new technologies. This course is based on my personal experience and experiences shared by many microservices experts in the industry. Thank you again for your interest in my course on domain-driven design and microservices for architects. Hope to see you in the class soon.